Hey everybody, today is my 35 week update. I am 35 weeks exactly today. Hi. Uh, I can't believe I'm at the 35 mark. I only have 35 days, I believe, left till 40 weeks. And I'm super excited. Nervous, but super excited. <coughs> Uh, let's see. So far, this past week, I have been very, very emotional. Like, I have no fuse. I am, like, snapping at any little thing right now. Oh, really? Uh, I know that's probably because how my body's preparing for the labor and everything like that, so my emotions are even more screwed up right now. <laughs> Sit down. Um, which is normal. Uh, she's so silly. Quit. Um, sit. Sit down. Let's see. Uh, for about a week now, I've been having severe, uh, contractions um, to the point to where they actually are making my back so sore and like this morning I had well last night when I went to bed I was having several contractions in a row where it was just painful back ache I have back labor so to me that makes it even harder um, but when I woke up this morning my belly was so sore it was unreal <laughs> baby has actually dropped down lower into my belly. The baby is still high, but it's uh, lower, um, so it makes it a lot easier to breathe. Um, I haven't really had an appetite as much as I had. Um, they say during usually the last couple weeks that you can actually lose the weight, which is I'm thrilled about that. <laughs> as long as the baby's growing properly, you can lose the weight and the baby gains the weight, no problem. Uh, Let's see, I do believe I actually lost my mucus plug already. Um, so I know my body's preparing definitely with the contractions and the mucus plug being lost, and you know my hips kill me now because the baby is pushing against my pelvic bone, which is pushing on my hips. And I had uh, I had played sports on my life, soccer and softball and gymnastics and everything like that. And I've had knee problems and hip problems, and uh, my hips dislocate quite easily um, from all the injuries that I've acquired over the years. So it makes it even a little bit more painful to, uh, for the pressure for me. Uh, let's see. Definitely really hard to bend over because that baby's head is right in the pelvic bone. Um, happen to go to the bathroom. Oh, the baby is still moving up a storm. Uh, those little arms and little legs are moving all the time. Um, I can feel the head actually move in my pelvic bone and the little hands coming across down at the bottom of the belly and that feels really funny. Uh, still craving ice cream. <laughs> ice cream has been what I've been craving lately. Still. Uh, Oh, I went to the doctor last week on Wednesday, and regular checkup, everything's fine. I gained weight, of course, but I didn't think I gained as much as they say. They said I gained 9 pounds, which I don't think that's right, because they never actually weigh you on the same scale, and they weighed me on a scale that I had never actually been weighed on yet by them, and the two weeks prior than that, I actually lost three pounds, so I don't think that's right, honestly, personally me. But you never know. I don't feel like I gained the weight. Uh, the heart rate this time, well, previous it was around 154, 153. This time it was 132. So this baby is giving what's, whatsoever no hint of what, what gender it is. Which is exciting for me because I have a feeling it's going to be a girl, but I could be totally wrong. Um, that's why I've gotten gender neutral stuff and lately and so, but, uh, 
I actually was telling the doctor about the contractions I've been having, and he actually decided to go ahead and check me. Because having being pregnant three years in a row, there's actually a chance that you could actually go early into labor. And it's, he's had it happen before where the, a woman was at 34 weeks and she was already four centimeters dilated. Well, he decided to check me, and I am starting to dilate. I'm actually one centimeter dilate and thin. So my body is definitely working on the labor part, getting me ready and prepared. Um, my heart, my, uh, what do you call it? Blood pressure is great, so no signs of preeclampsia or anything like that. Now, I don't know if he's going to start checking me every week because he started. And I know that being checked, you can actually go into labor just from that. Um, I went to labor with, with my son at 37 weeks, and I was 39 weeks with my daughter. And he actually, that day, he had stripped my membranes. So, I'm, I'm worried, but I'm not too worried. Uh, like I said before, I had dreams that this baby was going to be here early. So, I have everything ready in case I need to go. I have the kids' bags packed for uh, their stay at their grandparents' house, my parents'. Um, I got my hospital bag packed. I got the baby's bag packed, um, which I'll make a video of all of that. Um, I'll probably do it here this week because you never know when you're going to go. Um, and the way I'm, my body's preparing, I have a feeling that it's going to be soon, but I could be wrong. So... But I'm hoping at least I'm full term. But I know babies are fine around this stage. They may just have to stay in the hospital for a couple days. My son had to stay in the hospital for... He was supposed to be in the hospital for a total of a week after he was born. But I actually... My pediatrician was his pediatrician at the doctor's. And he actually let Alexander come with me home early. Um, I actually was nesting in their hospital uh, for about two two days after I had him, and then everybody was scheduled to have a C-section, so I had to leave. Um, but I actually got to bring him home, but the thing that sucked is I had to go from where I lived to the hospital, which is about a 30-minute drive twice a day for him to get shots. Well, first he had, he had a... An IV in his hand, and he pulled that out. He had IVs in his feet, and he pulled those out. So they ended up putting an IV in his head, and that ended up coming out too. So he ended up having to getting shots. So I'm not too worried about if the baby has to stay in the hospital. It's just going to be hard because I want to be home with my babies and everything like that. And he didn't have anything wrong with him. It's just I ended up getting a fever during delivery, and uh, his body tip was raised. So they wanted to make sure he wasn't sick or anything like that, and he wasn't. Um, uh, I'm actually, I'm actually having a lot of sleep insomnia. I cannot go to sleep. Like, I'll be really tired in the morning, but I cannot sleep at night time. Like, it takes me about 1 or 2 o'clock before I fall asleep at night. And I have to get up anywhere from 6 to 7 o'clock in the morning because of the babies. Um, doesn't bother me too much. I just lay on the couch <laughs> a little bit, rest a little bit right now. I know I won't be able to do that once the baby's here, but that's okay. But that's pretty much it that's going on with me. Um, I do have a doctor's appointment next, not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday after for my 36th week. Um, like I said, I'll do my hospital bag video for you guys. And if I have anything else to let you guys know, I will keep you guys updated. Sorry about the back of you guys. I'm still in the process of things. So here's my belly at 35 weeks. Like I said, I actually feel that the baby's dropped because the baby's not up here anymore. Actually, right here. Um, I can feel the baby really low down here. My belly button is actually not poking out right this minute because the baby's not front. I'm almost 46 inches. So, and I'm just getting too much bigger, maybe just a little bit. But as the baby drops, the, ba the belly's going to change. 
so so that's pretty much it you guys and uh, I will keep you guys updated on anything else so you guys have a good day